In this video, we will find the solution of the given differential equation, which is cot of y minus cosec x multiplied by dy by dx is equal to 0. So we can rearrange this equation as cosec x dy by dx is equal to cot x cot y. Now we can take this cot y on this side. So we have dy upon cot y is equal to and we can take this dx on this side. So we have dx and take this cosec x in the denominator of dx. We know that 1 upon cot y is 10y. So we will write 10y dy by dx and 1 upon cosec x is my sin x. So we will write sin x dx. Now the coefficient of dy is tangent y which is a function of y and the coefficient of dx is sin x which is a function of x. So the, this is the separable differential equation and we can find the solution by simply integrate both sides. So we will apply integral on both sides. Now this can be written as tangent y can be written as sin y upon cos y dy and the integral of sin x is minus cos x plus c. Now let p is equal to cos y. So the differential dt is equal to minus sin y dy. Now this can be written as minus dt is equal to sin y dy. So we put minus dt in place of sin y dy in the integral and in place of cos y we can put t. So the above equation can be written as integral of minus dt upon t is equal to minus cos x plus c. Now integral of dt upon t is ln t. So we have minus ln of t is equal to minus cos x plus c. Now we put the value of t which is cos of y and take minus common over here. So we have cos x minus c. Now we can cancel these minus sign and ln means log of cos of y base e is equal to cos x minus c. Now we use the definition of log which is log of a b base a is equal to c can be written as a to the power c is equal to b. So we can apply this definition over here. So in the base we have e. So we will write e to the power cos x minus c cos of y and this can be written as cos of c is equal to e to the power cos x upon e to the power c. Now, we have e to the power cos x upon e to the power c and this can be written as 1 upon e to the power c multiply by e to the power cos x. Now, Suppose k is equal to 1 upon e to the power c. So we can put we can write k in place of 1 upon e to the power c. So we have k times e to the power cos x and we can take this cos on the other side. So we have inverse cos of k times e to the power cos x. And this is the required solution of the given differential equation.